Bulasia Tribe and welcome to my final episode of Tribe Wanted TV. Uh, yeah, this will be the last one I'm doing but then I'm handing over the reins to you guys because you're more than capable of documenting what happens here yourselves. And for my last episode I'm really excited because uh, basically last week we came over and John Wright, one of your Toilet Tribe members, he did a brilliant lesson for um, the children here about British colonial history and uh, navigation, things like that. And I was speaking to the headmaster afterwards and basically they've got two teachers off sick, no not off sick, one's on maternity leave and one's on a refresher course. So they they're really short staffed at the school at the moment so basically I said look is there any way I can help out thinking I might be able to do an English class or acting lesson or something like that I'm really really nervous so uh, we'll be showing you what happens a bit later on if you've got something for a long time like a job or a house that's permanent if you have a job for just a couple of months or a couple of weeks or something that's called temporary yeah if you put up a house just for, uh, if you build a shelter just for one lovo ceremony, that shelter is called temporary because you're going to take it down soon. Yeah? So short amount of time, temporary. Long amount of time, permanent. It's casual. That means you do it one day here, one day next month, one month next year. It's... Or sometimes yes, sometimes no. Okay? Yes. So, if you have a gardener, yeah, somebody that looks after the garden or um, farmer, that can be casual work because you only need to work when the crop is in. Yeah? Yes. If you're picking sugar cane, that is sometimes casual work because it's not all year, is it? Just this time of year, and then stops. For a long time. Temporary. And casual. Sometimes. Sometimes working. Sometimes not working. Okay? So for unpaid work, there are different types of work that are unpaid. For example, chores that children do around the home. Who does chores around the home? Cleaning the compound. compound. Okay, that's one. Cook. Cook, yeah. Picking up rubbish. Picking up rubbish, good. Wash. Washing, good. Boys, what do you do around the house? Cut firewood. Is that what you said? Yeah, cut firewood. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah. Weeding. Weeding. There you go. So everybody has chores. I myself at home, I will do cleaning. Lots of cleaning and lots of cooking around the house. And so they are all unpaid jobs. Yeah? Whilst I was busy teaching at the school, the boys were working really, really hard on the bore. Now, I know you haven't seen it for a while, but I think you're going to be amazed at how much they've actually done. So far, we've got walls, bamboo walls around the side here. These went up yesterday. Oh, they're really strong, actually. And uh, the grid structure made from reeds so that we can then thatch on top of it. That's already gone up all the way around the bore. And I think you'd agree, it's starting to look pretty spectacular. Um, They've been working really, really hard here. Different teams from different villages, and our guys have been getting involved as well. Warren's been uh, weaving reeds. It's been really, really cool to watch. So next thing to go on is obviously the flooring inside and the thatching on the roof. But before all that can begin, we've been visited by um, a guy called Jody, and he's just going to be having a chat with Twee Marley now about the sustainability on the island here. He works for a company back in England. He's got lots of ideas about how we can improve it and how we can make sure we make as little impact as possible. So let's go and find out what he's got to say. 